So, crazy me thinks I'm going to do this in one take. I'm sitting on the deck of the backyard, enjoying a little bit of sun. I'm going to make a, a copper uh, ring gasket for exhaust. And so, what you need is you need some copper wire. You can use this or you can use extension cord wire. I just happen to have this handy. You need some side cutting pliers just to cut the wire. You need uh, a knife just to uh, help strip the uh, insulation off the wire. And uh, you need to have like your socket set handy um, because you're going to use that as a guide to make the wire. So once you figure out the size you need, you're going to make one for this pipe. That's for the for the bat. You can always use a spare a gasket. So what you do is you find oops there you go. You find the uh, the socket that's uh, one size bigger uh, than the inside diameter of your pipe. The reason why you want it one size bigger is because once you twirl all of this together to uh, to braid it, it's going to be thicker. So you don't want it to be going into the pipe. That'll just make a melty mess. So I'm just going through uh, both metric and uh, and imperial sizes fractions, and I seem to find that number 17 millimeter is the right size. So we're going to keep that aside. Take some wire. What you want to do is you want to go around two, three times. And that's the length you want to cut it. And this is where the fun starts. You have to uh, run your knife down it and then strip the insulation off. And I like to make these videos as much as I can in one take, so you just have to bear with. This might get a little bit entertaining, but it's uh, no worse than what you're going to try to do if you try to do this. So. See if we can get this done. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to do this nicely and, and, and keep it in view of the camera, so you know I'm not cheating and uh, suddenly doing something else. Also, it seems some mosquitoes are out already. Lucky us. Video is also going to be in real time, so I don't know. Once, once you find all your materials, it's going to take you the same amount of time as this video about to do it. I like to try to get all this stuff done in one take. batteries and memory at the same time or almost the same time so back at this now let just keep stripping the insulation as entertaining as it is
go. Well, that's just a big long piece of copper strands now. So just give it a little bit of a twist so it's not messy and all over the place. Now, what you want to do is you want to go around once using that socket. want to do now that you got it in a ring is you just start pointing towards the camera and start going in and out round and round the ring Put that end and when the two ends get close to each other Twist them around like that. And it looks very primitive like that. But once that's installed, kind of crushes flat between the flange there. See how nice of a fit that is? Once that crushes between the flange, and the motor, it's going to seal. Uh, it's going to seal it up, and the exhaust is going to want to go down there instead of trying to get past. And that's how easy it is to uh, to make one of these rings. You see, trying to push it on there, that it's gone a little bit smaller diameter. It's uh, you can't reuse them. Use them once, and then they're no good because once they're crushed, they don't seal again very good. But for that short length of uh, of wire. It's not going to cost very much to replace, and that's how you make one of those ring gaskets.